Hi, welcome back to Buddhism 101. Today we'll be continuing to talk about morality with part two, which is called the guarding of the senses. In Buddhism, we recognize there to be six senses, and it's nothing uh, magical or, or, or spiritual. It's just the five ordinary physical senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, and an additional sixth sense being just the mind, which is thinking. So seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, thinking, these are considered to be the six um, doors, if you will, to experience or doors to perception. So all of our experiences occur at one or another of these um, doors or, or these senses. Uh, the guarding of the senses simply means to uh, prevent the mind from cultivating uh, judgments, projections, uh, extrapolations of reality, so subjectivity. Uh, to try to trying to keep the mind at uh, some level of objectivity where we experience the object as it is because this is what will allow us to focus and and uh, to to see things as they are uh, cultivating concentration and wisdom which are what morality is meant to lead to so the the practice of guarding the senses is is actually uh, a much more intrinsic or essential form of morality from a buddhist perspective the consideration or the, the uh, idea is that uh, extrapolations, judgments, projections, these are all somehow immoral in the sense that, in, in the specific sense that they lead more to, uh, lead to, to suffering and, and to stress. They lead us to um, misunderstand or to, to uh, follow our um, addictions and our, our desires and, and our aversions and our hatreds and our fears and our worries, they, they tend to cultivate these uh, negative states of mind as opposed to uh, simply states of peace and, 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 and clarity of mind. They tend to um, dull and to confuse and to darken the mind. So um, this is really the, 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 the beginning uh, or the entry level for meditation practice in, in, in a Buddhist sense, where we begin to um, pull the mind back from its judgments, from its, its partialities, its categorizing of reality into arbitrary, uh, uh, arbitrary categories of, of acceptable, unacceptable, good, bad, right, wrong, me, mine, and so on. Um, without having taken the time to really understand what is good, what is bad, what is right, and what is wrong from an objective point of view. So the, the, from, this, from this point of view, morality is simply bringing the mind back to, to reality. It's uh, when you see something to have it just be seeing, when you hear something to have it just be hearing, and, and, and nothing else. So when, when you experience something to have it just be experiencing that uh, thing. And this is accomplished by, um, well it's accomplished in many ways, it's firstly accomplished by simply forcing the mind, um, guarding the mind in the sense of when the mind goes out, bringing it back, saying no, 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 don't, uh, it, it, you know, just forbidding the mind to go out. It can be done by, by clamping the mind down or repressing the desires and so on. This is um, a conventional sort of guarding the senses. Um, one way is, is physically, to prevent yourself from from giving rise to uh, likes or dislikes, so when you're walking around in, in the city, or or driving around, driving or whatever, or riding in a car, to not be looking around, sightseeing, or 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 trying to take in uh, what's going on around you, you know, to not allow yourself to see the things that would create desire or aversion or 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 worry or fear or so on to simply close your eyes or, 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 or lower your gaze or so on, to avoid uh, specific situations, to not go to bars or go to, to not watch uh, entertainment, entertaining shows or listen to music or so on, knowing that it somehow uh, excites you and creates habits of addiction and, and attachment. But um, obviously this is only going to be a temporary fix and I think it's, it's worth noting uh, that this will never give rise to to necessary to concentration or, or or wisdom by itself. So, from the uh, Buddhist perspective, morality has to be something deeper on an experiential level, where even when you see something that would potentially attract you, 
you are able to be objective about it. You're able to focus your mind just on the essence of the object. So see, again, seeing is just seeing. And this is accomplished by something that we call mindfulness. Um, this is something that I'll get into in, in, a, in a later video. But for now, um, basically, the, the practice of morality requires this ability to capture the object in its essence. So when you see something, you remind yourself this is seeing. Just saying to yourself, seeing. When you hear something, you remind yourself, see, hearing. When you smell, smelling. When you taste, tasting. When you feel, feeling. When you think, thinking. Guarding the senses um, from any sort of uh, extrapolation or projection. And so the, the mind grasps the seeing as just an experience, and nothing more grasps the experience just as it is. This is um, considered to be morality because it keeps the mind from any um, any judgment that would cause one to, to perform any immoral deed, so any uh, speech that is done, that is performed as a result of, of uh, our experiences is therefore pure, any, any actions that are performed as a result of our experience of, uh, of the world are, are therefore pure and, and objective, so instead of um, when we see something, getting angry about it and, and, and speaking or acting in a way to cause suffering, or hear or smell or so on, um, we're able to act rationally and, um, and with clarity of mind. So, um, you know, not much to say about it, it's, it's quite a simple concept, but uh, it's the, really the very essence of Buddhist meditation practice, this uh, beginning of the path of cultivating morality where we begin to pull the mind back and eventually the mind will, be, will become accustomed to seeing things as they are. This will give rise to concentration and therefore wisdom, two things that we'll talk about in future videos. But for now, uh, another aspect of morality, really probably the essence of uh, what we mean by morality in, in, in a Buddhist context. So uh, very important and important for us to understand uh, at the very outset so that we can get an idea of what is meant by Buddhist uh, morality and Buddhist meditation practice. So. Thank you for tuning in. This is Buddhism 101.